and that thing's been tricked out for former USA rules, which means you can run anything you want. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Our starter looking him over. Mike looking him over. Well, Craig Huber is down there now looking him over. Here we go. Oh, a lot of riders creeping a little bit forward, but away they go. Kenny Kopecky once again gets a great start and pulls into the lead. It's amazing how, how Kopecky could have finished second so many uh, times for so many years when he gets such great starts. He's always leading the pack. In fact, 90% he, he, uh, of the time, he'll lead Earl Roloff even into turn number one. And Kopecky off to a great start. He's left about four riders in his wake battling for a second spot as they head up the hill for the first time. Quebec in the lead, the only other rider we can really pick up right now in those white leathers is Russ Miller, and he should have the fastest bike out there. That thing is super quick on a straight line. Here we come, out of turn number one. number one come by. We don't see Roloff out there at all. He might not have even made the grid. But coming by in front was Kenny Kopecky leading this very talented laden field. And Kopecky's got the lead. Whitney Blakesley running there in second spot. Barry Burke, boy, he's uh, he's pumped up after his first win ever. He's running up there in third spot. And in fourth spot, bike number 689, that's Russ Miller, the rookie. And then in fifth spot is bike number 55. That's going to be Chris Mallory, the sophomore. Then in uh, sixth spot is bike number 72. That's the Beverly Hills rider Dave Busby, the AMA 250 uh, GP uh, runner. Then in seventh spot, bike number 65. That's William Beck on a Suzuki. In seventh spot, 65. So we mentioned William Beck. In eighth spot, 969. And that's going to be Jerry Ernst on a Yamaha. And in ninth spot, way down in ninth spot, James Domey. But, of course, he's probably, that is his stock production bike. So he's uh, running up against a lot of, high-powered machinery and uh, Domey on a very stock machine, but uh, that is your top nine as they came by the first time. Kopecky looking for his first win here in a long time, and right now he's got control of it as they come out of turn number nine. Coming down to clean another lap, and right now it's Whitney Blakesley in the lead. Whitney Blakesley's taking over the lead. Kopecky in second spot, Burke in third, Russ Miller in fourth, Chris Mallory running in fifth. In sixth spot comes Domey, so Domey is on a terror. He passes Busby now, who's in seventh spot. Then comes bike number 969, that's Jerry Ernst in ninth spot. So Domey is on a, on a roll now. He was running in ninth spot, and now he's up in the sixth. So we'll have to keep our eye on that uh, Silmar rider. The Suzuki of Glendale, Dr. John's Frame Shop sponsored machine. He tunes that bike all by himself. And of course, uh, he rides the wheels off of it. And uh, I'm sure Michelin's probably proud of that. M Michelin's uh, had a pretty good payday with uh, James Domey. As he just passed Dave Busby. And of course, Busby's on a very lightning quick Bob work tuned the Honda 250. And of course, Busby getting that bike ready for Brainerd next week in Minnesota. In fact, they're going to be taking off right after this race and start heading back for that AMA National back there. But uh, no sign of a roll off. Evidently, he's not in this race. Oh, we got a bike and a rider off at turn number four. And he's in the middle of the track. They're going to red flag the race. This race will be red flag. We got a rider down in turn number three and four. And the bike is in the middle of the track, so they're going to red flag the race. 
and all the riders will be stopping. Better start this time than he did last time. And Russ Miller is off like a rocket ship as well and follows in right in behind him in second place. Miller was in fourth last time. This time he draws in right behind Kopecky, and he's after him this time as they head into turn number two. Miller backs off a little bit, and Kopecky starts to open it up as they head around turn number two. Miller drops back to third, and now he's dropped back to fourth. And look at this, we got a rider who's just decimating the whole field, coming up from fifth spot, he's already in second. That could be Barry Burke, and he's just out broke Kopecky for the lead as they head up to the top of the hill. Once again, Domey out in front. Uh, Russ Miller trying to track him down. The uh, the novice rider trying to track him down. In third spot is bike number 97. That's Barry Burke. In fourth spot is bike number three, Kenny Kopecky. After a great start now, has slipped back into fourth position. In fifth spot, 969. That's going to be Jerry Ernst, who's uh, in a better position this time around on that Yamaha. In uh, sixth spot, it's uh, Dave Busby on that 250 GP bike, the Honda, the Bob Work tuned bike. In seventh spot, it's uh, going to be 55. That's Chris Mallory. And in eighth spot, 191. That is uh, uh, Yoshio Yashiyama on a Yamaha. Good uh, job by the Japanese rider. And then in ninth spot, bike number 65, that's going to be William Beck rounding out the top nine uh, on the second go around. We're up to halfway point of this race. Let's get 450 stock production, 305 Super Street and 250 Super Street up to the pre-grid, please. 450 stock production, 305 Super Street, and 250 Super Street up to the pre-grid, please. As we're looking at our leaders, and Domey looking over his shoulder, he means business this time. He's coming down here in the lead. It's Domey and Russ Miller on that very quick and fast Yoshimura Suzuki running a second spot. Barry Burke running in third. In fourth spot, it's Kopecky. In fifth spot, it's Busby now. In sixth spot, it's Jerry Ernst. In seventh place, Chris Mallory. And in eighth spot, 191. Uh, 
bike number 535, Barry Davis. Barry Davis, bike number 35, go to your motorhome or, or you won't be scored. You must go to the motorhome or you will not be scored for the race. out there getting some time in on it. Number 964, you want to put your helmet on when you go out there? Here they come out of turn number nine. I think we've got a chase. Let's find out. No, it's going to be James Domain with the win. Russ Miller is going to get second. Barry Burke's going to get a fine third place finish. And it was just those three riders and everybody else behind them. Look at this. Busby's going to hold on, I think. Let's see if Kopecky's going to overhaul him. Hit the flag. It's going to be close, but Busby holds him off. And Jerry Ernst gets the position behind him. Uh, 133 lap time on that last lap. So uh, Demay, uh, as we mentioned, not setting the world on fire, but he had things under control, and I think he's just going out for the win. A 96.7 mile an hour average at 133 lap time. Alex White, we need you to registration, please. Alex White, to registration, please. 
And we only want one person down here on the barrels. We only want one person over the wall out there on the barrels per crew. If you're uh, non-essential out there, you need to be behind the pit wall, please. Also want to mention the Skip O'Brien Circle B photos open down here in the prefab building down here below us. He just now opened up, so uh, Circle B photo.